Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about staking and pinching off our dahlias. Um, they're finally getting to that size where it's time to do these projects. You wanna make sure that you stake them before they get too big. Um, and I'm also gonna to talk to you about pinching them off. Um, you know, I think in total I planted about 100 of them. Um, some of them I did give away, and then other ones are still in containers that I will be uh, planting into the landscape. Um, so anyways, let me set my camera up, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be feeding them today actually for the first time. We'll get our stakes in the ground, and then we will start pinching them off. So here we go. Okay guys, before we feed them and we get them staked up, let's talk about pinching them off. Um, so I I've already done most of our uh, dahlias, but I'd love this one to show you guys. Um, so what pinching off is going to do, it's going to program your plant to shoot more shoots from the bottom and you're going to get two to three times more blooms by doing this step. Um, you want to find your center stalk and uh, once your plant gets about uh, 12 to uh, 16 inches tall, that's when you're going to do this process. So what I like to do is count down maybe two to or three set of leaves and then I'll make the cut. You want to make sure you have some nice sharp shears and then you're just going to cut um, right over here between these or where these new shoots are starting to come up. Um, I know it's a scary thing to do but if you want to get two to three times more blooms this is what you have to do and this is also going to give you a bushier plant um, which again I think aesthetically looks better. Um, so here we go so I'm just going to go ahead and do it right over here just like that. Um, now you do want to make sure that you uh, do it on a dry day and that you're not going to be watering them overhead because you don't want water to get into the center because the center is hollow um, and you want to make sure that you don't get water in there because if you do it's going to rot out your tuber. Um, while we're here I also want to tell you guys that I like to cut off uh, the bottom leaves that are touching the ground. I think this just kind of helps pest control and plus these leaves on the bottom aren't getting sun to them. Um, and I like just, you know, I like for the plant to be a little bit more airy. So what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll cut some of these bottom leaves as well that are um, touching the ground. Just that way the plant can breathe a little bit better. Um, but let me show you a dahlia that I um, pinched off a little bit ago so you guys can see how bushy it is. Okay, so it is getting a little bit late, so I'm gonna quickly show you this, and then we'll uh, feed them and then get them all staked up. Um, so here's one that I did a little bit while ago. You can see here where I made the cut, and I'll show up a little, I'll put up a little clip and you'll see I did have to sacrifice some of the buds, but you can see how many new shoots are already coming from the bottom. So again, you're gonna get double or triple the amount of blooms um, by doing this step. So I know it's scary, but just trust me, just do it and it'll be worthwhile. Okay guys, so for feeding them, I'm actually gonna be using this more bloom. Um, I mentioned this before uh, in our first video where we were planting the tubers. Um, this is what was recommended to me by a dahlia farmer here in Oregon and we used it last year and they did really well. So this is what I'm gonna be using. Um, and I will link it down below for you guys. Um, so for dahlias, the instructions say, let's see here. Um, so it says two tablespoons per 25 square feet. Um, so you do t two tablespoons per gallon per 25 square feet. Um, so I have this two gallon container. So what I'll do uh, for this, this two gallon container, I'll be able to feed 12 of our uh, plants. Um, but anyways, um, if you aren't gonna use this brand, you wanna make sure that you use one that has low to zero nitrogen um, because that's just a common mistake that people make uh, when fertilizing their dahlias is one, they over fertilize and two, they over fertilize with um, a fertilizer that has uh, too much or that is high and rich in nitrogen, which they don't really like that. So um, I would just go with this brand um, if you can get it. Again, I will link it down below for you guys. Um, so let's get it mixed in. Let's get every, everyone fed and then we will stake them up. Have some water, please.
Okay, so I already have my stakes in. Um, now I did buy these metal stakes that are about four feet tall. Um, sometimes I will get a T-post or a rebar that are a little bit taller, but I think these will be fine for this year. Um, if you're not gonna be using these, you can use rebar, you can use uh, T-post, um, you can use wood as your stake. Um, so it just kind of depends what you're looking for. I think aesthetically this looks nice. Um, and I just did it every couple of dahlias because I know you can stake them at every, uh, at every dahlia, but for me, uh, what I did last year, I just had a few of these down each row. And then I had the twine that I'll show you guys um, to kind of hold them back. And the cool thing about using the twine in these, um, these posts is that, or these stakes, is that if they start getting bigger and toppling over, I can kind of tighten the twine a little bit more, or I can also just throw in some more stakes if it needs it. But um, I think these will be fine. Um, so let me show you the twine, um, and then we will talk a little bit more. Okay, so I will be using this uh, garden twine. I just like using this just because it kind of has that natural look um, and it is pretty strong. So I just ordered this online and it's what I used last year. Um, so since our uh, dahlias aren't that tall yet, I'm not going to be running the um, string all the way through. But basically what I'll do is I'll go to each post and I will tie a first knot. I'll just tie that a few times. Wind it around and just tie that again. Just like that. And then I will run this all the way uh, down and back up around each dahlia. So basically they'll just grow um, in between the, the twine. And at every post, I'll just make a little loop around it, just like so, like this, and continue going. Um, so this is what, this is the method that I like. This is what I did last year. Um, it was easy, it was simple, and it worked really well. Um, so that's what I'll do once they get tall enough. So maybe like three to four feet tall is when I'll um, go ahead and actually use the twine to uh, hold them up. All right, guys, well, that's it for today's project. I hope that was helpful. Um, I know pinching our dahlias off is always a scary thing to do, but I promise you, you will get two to three times more blooms um, had you have done this step. So um, just make sure you do it on a dry day, like I mentioned, and just try to avoid watering for 24 hours just to make sure that you're not getting any water um, into the center of those stalks. Um, I will link down below everything that we use in today's video, including the fertilizer. Um, and I hope the staking part also helped you guys. I know you know we all kind of have our own ways of doing it but I like to do things simple um, and efficient and effective so if you have another way of doing it please let me know I love learning um, I think I'll always be a student at heart um, and I would just love to hear from you guys what your methods are um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye <laughs> it won't go in I need a hammer okay you get to do this one okay well, I loosened it for you, so, okay? <laughs> I will. <laughs> See? She got it. I did it. Also, if you've been following me on Facebook or Instagram, you've been seeing my lily bed. Bless you. And they're just full of blooms right now. I love it. Ugh, so gorgeous.